Macario, Abby Kim for Cal. Does it get a lot easier with Morgan Weaver for Washington State? Can you just talk about facing all those top strikers in conference? Yeah, um, we have a solid defense, and I think a lot of the times we're really trying to push each other on the field, especially with having forwards like Emma, Zoe coming at us, um, just kind of really paying attention to details heading into those games and looking at what we could take out of the Stanford game to bring to WSU and facing the Morgan Weavers and stuff. Um, I think details and just kind of going back to the basics, defending what our core values are, what we represent as Duck Soccer, and just giving it our all. So Cameron's was on Duck Insider the other day talking about the RPI being top 50. Is that something you see as a team? You kind of just play your game? Yeah, um, we talked about it yesterday kind of for the first time. And um, we we don't really pay too much attention about it, but we want the wins. We want to do great, and like that number is a great number for us, especially going into heading against opponents who do have lower RPIs, which can really help us when we get those wins. But um, yeah, we kind of just focus doing the hard work on the field, not really looking at the numbers and all that other stuff. So yeah. This past weekend you played a couple of different roles, higher up in midfield against Cal, then more of a CDM slash center back role mm -hmm. against Stanford. Or is that something you've experienced before? Or is that a new thing for you this past weekend? Um, it was new. Um, I'm always happy to play those new positions. I don't really get to go forward too often. Um, but playing that holding mid, we did work through some rotations and changing things up a bit. And um, it was really exciting for me and I, everyone, yeah. Do you guys expect to revert back to a 4-4-2 against Washington State on Saturday? Yeah, um, we know they like to play long balls, so I think we're going back into our original four diamond two formation. Um, going into it, I think we're just really going back to the basics again and like seeing what duck soccer is about and that four diamond two, I, we've practiced all season for it, so I'd expect to see it. Just how big of a weekend do you think this is for you guys? You've obviously faced tough competition looking for that mm -hmm. first one in conference, and Washington State's obviously no scrub. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a very important weekend. We're home, we're under the lights. Um, we always love that, and just the fan base we've gotten these past, this past weekend, um, I think Peg said 700 was the number. Sold out pretty. <laughs> that's crazy for us, and um, we acknowledge that, and that's also another reason why we work so hard on the field, and I think 7 o'clock game this weekend is going to be an exciting one. Obviously, on the opposite side of the ball of you, of you but Jordan Warmbell hasn't started a game in the past couple since she's come back from injury, but she's back up top. Mm -hmm. You expect her to kind of have a big week, big day against uh, Washington State? Yeah, um, she's a little feisty one, and she gets on the end of balls that we need her to get on the end of, and she's really hungry right now, and that's great for us because she has been doing amazing things when she gets on the end of stuff and even at practice like we see her hard work translate so this weekend I think is very exciting and yeah. So Croy came in this year was kind of a day one starter what's kind of been the dynamic between you Croy and Hannah Taylor? Yeah it's been a great one um we all learn off each other um Croy's the younger one so like anything we see anything that she sees like it's pretty open communication between all of us, and we all want to want what's best for each other. And I think the feedback when things are, when we need improvements during practice, is really receptive for all three of us. So that's just a learning, bouncing back and forth ideas type of relationship. Is there a benefit to having pretty much that upper echelon of the Pac-12 as the start of your conference schedule, as maybe opposed to the back half? You get some of those tough games out of the way, and it's maybe a bit more of like a baptism by fire there. Yeah, um, so the Pac-12, one of the hardest conferences, and kind of getting those ones out of the way is a little bit kind of nicer, but we know every single opponent that we face is hard. Um, and so, yes, but also going into the next few games, we know we, we got to get it serious and get going with, how we're playing on the field and stuff. How big of a difference is this, just the one game on the weekend rather than a Friday, Sunday, or a Thursday, Sunday? Yeah, um, one game weekends, those are very exciting. Um, you see the Utah coach tweeting about it and stuff, and like, it's kind of, we give it all we can, 
both if we do have a double game weekend and looking forward to a one game weekend it's kind of just give it even more like you only have one game this week and you have so many days to recover after and like the preparation for it is key as well because we also get to get the scout and focus on the one team instead of both so yeah we've obviously faced Washington State in your past three years there's something that you're particularly looking forward to facing them um playing against I don't know Morgan Weaver and then I don't know the name of the other one number three but I've played yeah, the three exactly. years yeah. and they're really feisty and really aggressive so I'm we obviously need to share that with the team but also like they do work for every ball they're like a Stanford they're like um Cal and I feel like we can't not take it easy and we know what we're going to be facing and it's hard work. When you're going facing a new opponent, do you kind of tell Croy like the intel on the team because you've <laughs> not had experience with them and she's going to be here probably the next four years. Mm -hmm. Is that something you tell her every game? Yeah, um, the Colorado one for sure. That one's always a little slippery and stuff and we kind of bounce ideas off each other on how we want to build out of the back, how we want to defend, who's taking which forward. Um, so yeah, we do go into it with a little like plan of ourselves.